The Rockies, the backbone of America, the symbol of the Wild West. This rugged mountain range spans 3,000 miles across Canada and the U.S. with their highest peaks at 14,440 feet. The legendary Bighorn Mountains are a masterpiece of this region. They have long made Sheridan, Wyoming a historic outdoor recreation paradise. With 1,500 miles of trails, two ski areas, numerous lodges, campgrounds, and the 189,000 acre Cloud Peak Wilderness, the Bighorn National Forest is a premier destination for those of us with big dreams. It's where Boondock Nation finds itself, like others before, to test our durability and spirit, to see if we can experience these mountains and live these moments in the face of natural forces of the wild west of Wyoming. This was my second time riding in the Bighorns. I had a blast last time I was here. So it was really cool to come back and uh, just see the terrain that I'd ridden before and explore a bunch of new terrain as well. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't do any research on what Arrowhead was gonna be like or what the riding was gonna be like here. And you know, I'm pretty blown away as to what the culture is. The whole setup, it reminds me very much of the UP in Northern Wisconsin, and that's pretty cool. It makes you feel like you're right at home. Sheridan, Wyoming is a small town located at the base of the Bighorn Mountains in beautiful Northeast Wyoming. We're known for outdoor recreation, craft culture, and history and heritage. What's really been exciting people over the last few decades is our booming winter outdoor recreation scene. We have some of the safest terrain that you're ever gonna encounter. We don't see a lot of avalanche activity that's gonna impact snowmobilers. We've got over 300 miles of trails up in the Bighorn Mountains that some days it's gonna feel like you have them all to yourself. The opportunity to come to this part of Wyoming has already created great memories. The chance to stay at Arrowhead Lodge affords the opportunity to get into some good riding in the Salt River region. And it all starts here. We're ready to face the challenges ahead, starting at the trailhead. Some folks who may be inexperienced in the backcountry may be intimidated by the size of the mountains and the number of trails that we have here. That's why it's such a great idea to hire a backcountry guide from Arrowhead Lodge. They'll take you to places that you didn't know you wanted to see, spots on the mountain you really want to see and explore, and some of their secret hidden gems that they're not going to tell you about unless you're riding out with those guys. Snow bikes and the wild terrain of Wyoming go hand in hand. Being out on the mountain with Josh and Ivan, it was just a day full of laughter. They have a positive attitude. They're always uh, making jokes, you know, and having a good time no matter what. Ivan definitely likes to talk, that's for sure. He's, uh, he's got quite a bit of jokes up his sleeves, and you know, Josh loves laughing too. When you're out in the snow with those guys, I, I don't think there's ever a dull moment. Josh let us ride his turbo bike, uh, which was unreal. I feel like I could never ride a regular snow bike after being on that one. There's just so much power and it runs so well. Josh took us out and showed us all around. Very good guides, you know, on, on their game. They know the spots to take you, uh, depending on your skill level. It's, it's an awesome experience for sure. After riding snowmobiles at an aggressive level, life changed for me. I realized that I can't ride at a level the way that I want to anymore. So for me, it was kind of a transition where snow bikes allowed me to continue to ride with guys that ride at an elite level and find some rejuvenation in the winter sport again. Even the best guides face challenges. As we say, any day in the backcountry can become one of those days filled with adversity and reward. Well, getting stuck going downhill seems to be par for the course today. <laughs> We're uh, dealing with Amazing sugar snow. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Uh, looks like you're out. I think so. Let's Tell go, the next stuff. Uh, let's go tear it up. Okay. We're gonna go down and out. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to the bottom. Nothing's more important to me than to make sure that people understand that we 
truly love and embrace what Wyoming has to offer. And all the different things around Sharon are really important that we showcase that to people and make sure that they're invited back and want them to know that, hey, anything you need, we have it to offer here for you and we wanna make sure that you enjoy our space. Even though Arrowhead Lodge is 45 minutes away from Sheridan, the team there contributes to the community and culture of Sheridan. Sheridan's a tiny town of less than 20,000 people, but our craft culture makes us seem like we're 10 times that size. We've got three breweries, we've got a distillery, we've got a winery, but we've also got custom saddle makers, we've got food makers, all these amazing craft-centric people here in this town that make Sheridan a true destination among destinations. We have a great craft culture and it's growing stronger every day. We just had Smith Alley Brewing Company that opened its doors in January. And we also have, of course, Black Tooth Brewing Company, which has the largest brew house in the state of Wyoming. We also have Luminous Brew House, which is kind of the hometown local brew house, and they have really focused their efforts and attention on having a great venue for a lot of music acts. I think the name is very fitting for what Luminous is, that idea of just light. That's what we want to be for the community. We want to be what we like to call ourselves the Sheridan's living room. And what a living room means to someone is a place where you feel comfortable, where you bring people into it, um, where you have your favorite spot. It's just, it's just home. We would like to distinguish the difference between competition mindset and collaboration mindset. And our heartbeat is to collaborate with all the other crafts in town. And I think that they can play together so beautifully. And I think that's the heartbeat of Sheridan. Sheridan's downtown scene is booming as its art economy. Public art installations are found on every corner in the downtown core. Here you'll also find the famous Mint Bar. Opening in 1907, it quickly became the area's favorite watering hole. The culinary and cocktail culture in Sheridan is amazing, utilizing local ingredients and spirits. There's a rich history of craftsmanship that exists here one of self-resilience and a true connection with nature. We started this in the early 90s, 90, 91. It just kind of started out with the saddles my grandfather had collected. He'd buy, you know, stuff at auctions. We used to trade with Indians, you know, so he had a lot of fantastic beadwork. Then everybody around the community just started donating stuff. Anything that had any value, my grandfather tried to collect it. To the fact that you can actually touch a saddle or get right up close and personal with something. You really uh, soak it in. We typically make any type of tack equipment that you need, head stalls, breast collars, reins. We do saddle repair and then we uh, manufacture rope. That's a major part of our business. You know, on factory saddles and stuff like that, there's a lot of a lot of detail overlooked on those type of things. As far as leather work goes, you know, we try to have the some of the best floral carving or just general leather work out there. Here in Wyoming, craft is king, and so is hospitality and hearty cuisine and drinks. Arrowhead Lodge is a really special destination, not only for people who come from all over the country for outdoor recreation, but also for locals who want to get up and get away from town. Petey and Jared Severson, the owners of Arrowhead, have made it a real destination space up on the mountain. You can use it as a summer base camp or specifically a winter base camp as a snowmobile enthusiast. There's easy access back to the main towns of Sheridan, Ranchester, and Dayton, but you really feel like you're tucked away in the woods when you're spending the weekend at one of their cabins. Arrowhead Lodge definitely feels like home. It's rustic on the inside here in the lodge, but there's a cool bar to hang out at. The amenities are really nice. I slept great every night. This lodge is pretty awesome because you can pretty much do everything you need here. You know, you've got your food, you've got beverages, beds, gasoline. You wake up and you can fuel your sled up and hit the road. And then you come back to great service and smiling faces and just a really good vibe. When you come to Arrowhead Lodge, 
you're going to get an outstanding meal. So only in your state, just rank them as number five in the top 10 uh, restaurants in, in Wyoming. Businesses like Arrowhead Lodge, they roll out the red carpet, they welcome people to come stay, discover them, and, uh, and hopefully make, make Sheridan your home in the future. As we take in all the awesome amenities a place like Arrowhead Lodge offers, we get ready for another day in the backcountry with some of our favorite riders, Nadine, Luke, and Ryan. Riding with Ryan was great. Uh, I met him three or four years ago at Heydays and uh, haven't really talked to him since. So to find him up here and be able to go out and ride for a day, it was really cool just seeing him rip on his sled like 850 Patriot turboed. That thing was a riot. We met Luke down at Luminous Brew House in Sheridan and uh, decided to come up and ride for a couple days. And he took us into some really cool terrain. We found the best snow we had seen all trip um, got into some gnarly trees, found some cool features to hit, and uh, really just had a great time out there with the whole group. Getting Boondock Nation here is, uh, is fantastic. I'm really happy it worked out. It was amazing to see how much work goes into it, the, the filming, how late at night those guys put in, start at 6, 7 in the morning, go until midnight sometimes. And it was fun riding with them. They, I had a blast. They, they're really good riders, uh, so you can kind of just choose where you want to go and, and pick some really technical stuff and they're right there with you. There's climbs, there's usually pretty good powder and, and bowls that you can find. There's a pretty good wind effect that you can play, but you can always find fresh snow somewhere. The snow that they get here reminds me a lot of Colorado. It's just like super dry, bottomless snow. By the end, we really were uh, lucky to see some really good conditions. A couple years ago, we rode with the Nadine, and you know, that's an experience in itself. She's just super cool, super fun to hang out with at night, and she's a ripper out on the snow. Man, Boondock Nation guys are my favorite. I feel like I'm becoming a part of the family now. It's cool to see the guys progress for sure and just like even seeing them get really comfortable in, in their riding abilities and just also the group support, you know, like things you're picking out, they're excited for and, you know, just working together and, and having fun out there. It's really easy with those guys. You never know what you're going to encounter when out west. Earlier this year, we hosted the first ever Sheridan Wild Winter Rodeo in downtown Sheridan that brought in ski drawing athletes from all over the Mountain West to compete for prizes over an action-packed weekend. Ski drawing is a combination of ranching history and outdoor recreation. Those two together combined to make ski drawing and the Winter Rodeo one of the most exciting weekends we've ever seen in the winter here in Cherry County. We got to check out this new event this year, ski drawing, and uh, that was pretty crazy to watch the guys getting pulled on skis behind the horses and they're doing this crazy thing at the end where they would like have to put their arms through rings and go over the jumps. It took the efforts of many to really pull this together, but to have our first ski drawing event 
that thousands of people came out and just had a great day. Um, we had wonderful weather conditions, and we had a really phenomenal amount of entries, not only from the professional ski joring contestants, but also from so many of our locals. I think they had around 104 entries, which was, was phenomenal for the first year. The experience of being a spectator at a ski joring event is really unlike any other. You're right there downtown on the track as these athletes are whipping by you on their skis and snowboards. It's thrilling, it's fast, and it's really just family fun. And it was a gap that we had in Sheridan that we filled with one of the most exciting events we could think of. Ski journey started as this little seed and it just boomed. The idea of taking this dream and bringing all these people into it and collaborating with the starting line being at Luminous and the finishing um, being at Blacktooth, I think that people were so excited to see these horses pull skiers right behind them down historic Main Street. It's again spreading that economic presence and bringing people into different facets of Sheridan. The genuine desire of the people living here to share their area and stories with us made our travels through this spur from the Rocky Mountains known as the Bighorns an incredible experience. The hospitality and creativity found here extends well across the Great Plains and beyond. If you've never been to Sheridan, Wyoming, I, I promise you, you will be completely blown away. The moment you are face to face to someone, you are accepted. People want to know your story. They want to take you to the hot spots in town. They want to um, just, just show you what Sheridan has to offer. And I think that it has a lot of unique attributes that have yet to be experienced. Sheridan is a true four-season destination mountain town. Winter is all about snowmobiling and, and winter activities. Summer is about the wild rodeo. Spring is about wildflowers. And fall is about trail running and all the other outdoor activities you can find. But downtown has that expressive craft culture, amazing public art, and all that history and heritage that goes along with 100 years of ranching history in a small mountain town. We travel around a lot snowmobiling, and it's cool to be here in the Bighorns, and I can see it being a great destination for people coming from the Midwest. It's a shorter drive than if you were to go all the way out to Western Wyoming, Eastern Idaho, or Utah, or even Colorado. There's something for everybody to ride here, and staying at Arrowhead and being able to ride right from the lodge is the icing on the cake. This is definitely a place that I would like to come back to and probably with some friends from the Midwest. I'd like to time it on, on a storm and uh, come back here and ride this place when it's super deep because the terrain is definitely something that's uh, super fun to ride. It's been a really cool trip. I'm really like happy that snowmobiling allows me to come and travel. You meet all these amazing people and you see all these really cool places and I'm a lucky girl. There's just so much to do up here in the Bighorn Mountains and throughout Sheridan County as a whole. I know it's gonna continue to grow. The more that people discover our Bighorn Mountains, the more people are gonna continue to flock to our area.